Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Continuing with the videos on logistic regression, I'm going to show you here how we can easily create dummy variables in logistic regression. Okay, for this example we've got the Titanic data, so we have as a dependent variable survived, which is one coded, one for survive, passenger survived, zero otherwise. Uh, passenger, the class of uh, travel of the passenger, P class, is one of three classes, one, two, and three. So we're going to kind of regress survived on P class. Okay, see if the class of the passenger uh, helps to predict whether the passenger survived. Now we could see that P class is not quantitative, it is qualitative. You're in one, you travel, we're assuming only one of three classes. So we need to, since it's got three categories, one, two, and three, the rule is to avoid the dummy variable trap, we create two dummies with one as a reference, and we also include the intercept. Now, how do I create the two dummies for this? We could do it the long way, doing it manually, or we can use a neat feature in this PSWSPSS, which I wish was available for standard regression. Okay, so what you do is you take over into this dependent variable box DV, which is survived, and the covariate is P class, which we know is categorical. Now, look up here, we've got to create a dummy for P class because it's code 1, 2, and 3 at the moment. We need to, we need to create two dummies. Go to categorical covariates. We take that into the categorical covariates. Now look under here, un change contrast. Uh, these things now are highlighted. Contrast, we want it to be an indicator function, so leave that alone. We need a reference category. The reference category which can choose the first or the, the first meaning of the th thing that is coded with the lowest value or the last which is a thing coded with the highest value so by default it's got it on last so we can leave it there which is same as saying since there are three classes we leave out class 3 click OK and run right so what we see is that in the variables in the equation we've got the constant and we've got those three categories, but one of them being the third class has been left out, which is why there is an empty space in the coefficient there. But the other two, class one and two, they are in there. All right. So we've got a coefficient on p class one, 1 1.6, and p class two, 0.798. Now to show you that we could do this, that this indeed gets you the same result, I've earlier created the dummy variables manually. D1 for first class, D2 for second class, third class is the reference now. If I run this logistic without using the automatic uh, dummy creating function, put these two into covariates, so these are, I say OK, we're checking that the coefficients are the same. Alright, so here you go. Constant, the D1, which is the first class, 1.63, well that's what we had before, D2.798, so indeed um, that has saved us a lot of, uh, saved us a bit of work there by using the category function. As I said, I wish that this category function was also available in standard regression. Alright, that's a nice short video.